of the famous seaside place called Blackpool that's noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, their son. <laughs> I can do the rest of it if you want. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because my dad does the next bit. <laughs> now Albert, go on. A grand little lad with young Albert, all dressed in his best, quite a swell, with a stick with a horse's head handle, the finest that Woolworths could sell. They didn't think much of the ocean, the waves, they was fiddling and small. No wrecks and no dead drowned, fact nothing to na- laugh at at all. So, seeking for further amusement, they paid and went into the zoo. They had lions and tigers and camels and old ale and sandwiches too. There were one great big lion called Wallace, whose nose was all covered in scars. He lay in a somnolent posture with the side of his face on bars. Now Albert had heard about lions, and they was ferocious and wild and seen while his lions were peaceful. Well, didn't seem right, it child. So straightway, brave little fellow, without showing a morsel of beer, took his head with his horse's head handle and shoved it in Wallace's ear. You could see that the lion didn't like it, because given a kind of a roll, he pulled Albert in the cage with him and swallowed the little lad all. Now, Pa, who had seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do, do next, said, Mother, Yon lion's at Albert. Mother says, E, I am vexed. Then Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom, quite rightly, when all said and done, complained to the animal keeper that the lion had eaten her son. The keeper was quite nice about it. He said, What a nasty mishap. Are you sure it is your son he swallowed? And Pa says, I'm as sure there's his cap. The manager had to be sent for. He came and he said, What's to do? And Ma said, Yon lion's at Albert. And him in his Sunday clothes too. The manager wanted no trouble, he took out his purse straight away and said, How much to settle the matter? And Pa says, Well, what do you usually pay? But Ma had turned a bit awkward when she thought where Albert had gone and said, No, someone's got to be summons. So that was decided upon. So off they all went to the police station in front of the magistrate chap. They told him what happened to Albert and proved it by showing his cap. The magistrate gave his opinion as how no one was really to blame and said as he opened the ram's bottoms with the further sons to their name. And that mother got proper blazing it. And thank you so kindly, said she. What spend our, all our lives raising children to feed ruddy lions, not me. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Oh, well, that's the first half. <laughs> There's a sequel, Albert, The Return of Albert, which I don't know quite so well. <laughs> My dad used to do it, but I've never heard the whole or well, that much of it. No. He used to do the basic bit about the